All right, a video about my packing cube. So uh, this is what I showed in my one bag video and now I have everything in here that is pretty much exactly what I took on this past nearly two month trip. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna break this down for you. Again, we were in warm, relatively warm climates. Uh, the only thing that I would swap out here for a colder climate would be that the wool sweater that I brought, I would just bring a down, like a puffy down packable, stuffable jacket instead. And maybe I would add one pair of thicker socks. And otherwise you really can do a lot with very little uh, so here you go. Um, thank you to some inspiration from Tynan uh, on this, although I'm definitely not doing exactly what he did. Um, here we go. So I didn't use this once. This is like a strap so I can make the backpack into a hip, like to have hip belts, but I never actually even used it. So that was dead weight. The only other non clothing item in here is this, which contains a 3D printed uh, bidet or washlet adapter. I can just find somebody's soda bottle that they're throwing away, pop this into the top of the soda bottle and be much more clean while I'm traveling. So this weighs almost nothing and provides for me enormous utility. Love this. So, uh, this is a wool sweater. Uh, it's a really heavy wool sweater, uh, heavy weight. I think it's like 320 GSM or something. Um, I barely even use this on the trip, but it's really good to have. If you don't already know about why wool is so good, um, you can read about it, but it stays warm when it's wet. You rarely need to wash it and um, very high warmth to weight uh, ratio. This is uh, n my newest edition. This is a wool buff. I believe it's like lightweight or medium weight. So you can use this as a hat. You can, you know what a wool buff is, yeah. So wool buff, barely used it on the trip, but it was nice. Uh, this is a, my raincoat. I could definitely go with a lighter one but I don't need to spend extra and uh, it works. This is an Arcteryx uh, job and um, it's fantastic and it's black. So um, I obviously like dark colors. They work really well together and uh, had that for years. Uh, now, I don't always pack this, but this is like a running shorts, exercise shorts, that are also swim trunks. So uh, basically, I knew I was gonna be swimming a lot on this trip. So the everyday wearing shorts, I could swim with them, but since I was gonna be doing so much swimming uh, and movement uh, outdoors, I just thought I would bring these. So this is um, shorts. So I'm wearing one pair of underwear and then I have one extra pair of underwear and the ones that I usually am not wearing are a little bit tighter. I can also use these as a bathing suit, which I do frequently, um, which is great. Hanky. Uh, wool t-shirt. This is old uh, and still performs really great. This is an outlier wool t-shirt and then I have a pair of um, full length pants so I've, I'm wearing shorts most of the time in a super warm climate or in a warm climate but I've got pants so if I swap the shorts in here this gets even smaller and if I don't bring the uh, running exercise shorts that I showed you this bag gets even smaller uh, I could replace this with one of those compressible ones and take up less space, but again, um, it totally works. And so I like this packing cube because I get to my lodging, 
combination. I just open this up and put it on a shelf and I can see all my clothes like they're in a bureau or something. And then when I'm done, I just pack it, zip it up and good to go. So that's that. I hope that is helpful. And uh, thank you very much. Enjoy.